Hello, All Things Reviews, and today's video we're going to be talking about Do you really need this robot vacuum? Is it good? Is it worth the money? And All Things Reviews, so we're going to be reviewing it as well As well as seeing if you're going to be checking it out So in this video we're going to go over weight, height measurements Exactly what you're going to be getting Zigzag mode, AF, brushless motor, voice control Going over all the features, going to look inside the box Weight, height, measurements, those specifics And then we're going to show you after a couple of days of use and power it on, see what it looks like, and at the end of it, give you an overall opinion. Make sure to stick around to the end. If you haven't, like, comment, subscribe. If there's someone on the fence about robot vacuums on the cheaper budget end, you know, not the big names like Roomba and stuff like that, if they want something on the more affordable end, send them over this video. And without further ado, let's get into the opening of just Yay! the packaging. So, when you get it shipped from Amazon, this is what you're greeted with front of it just the box right there like a visualization back is the same thing so when you open it up you also got this cool little carrying if you want to carry it around so you just open up all the straps like that and as you can see you just get packaging 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 so what do you get inside this packaging well you get the actual plastic that can contains and controls the robot as well as extra pieces and what this is basically is is the vacuuming part of it extension i'll talk about that later stick around for the video manual smaller manual this strip right here which i will tell you later on and this little brush and then of course the robot controller right there little controller and the power adapter to power it on so let's go break it down um piece by piece to make sure you'll see exactly what you're going to be getting so this is the ruser manual of the intelligent robotic vacuum cleaner vp v40p from um let's see syspro so inside this manual you're going to be getting the table of contents so you can check it out here safety precaution list use dust box installation remote control main machine daily maintenance basic parameter common troubleshooting and a warranty card so this is just like run of the mill but i'm gonna guide you Yay! through how to set it up so you necessarily won't even need this and this is for the app you can see the app setup because I'm going to tell you right now, there are three main ways to control your robot cleaner. Either you can do it with controlled buttons, remote, or through the applications going one by one down the list. These are the little filters that you put inside of the robot vacuum cleaner. They are magnetic and fit just like that. So when you think it's time to replace them, you replace them and they dust all the debris and stuff right into it and you're going to be getting this little box right thing right here this is just so you can dust off your robot vacuum cleaner because as you're going to see it gets pretty dusty itself so you have to clean the cleaner <laughs> and you're going to be getting this strip which is basically a strip that you put to make sure that the robot does not go any further beyond this line it's going to recognize it and know that that is its boundaries and the parameters and it is not going to go any further and in also the packaging you're going to be getting this charger adapter cable thing right here and the dock and the robot itself let's just put it on i want to make sure that you can wait it is 5.4 pounds um you heard it talk we'll talk about that later <laughs> and this doesn't weigh anything so it weighs altogether about eight pounds and let me get the tape measure so you can check out the tape and as you can see it has been in some use because of dust and i'm going to show you the duster presentation on it as well Yay! so to get one of the key this is the duster right here as you can see you just go around and you clean the dust off of the machine you can see dirty i'm gonna put it right there and hopefully you can see in the camera it does make this uh, much cleaner so we'll talk about that furthermore in the video on pros and cons of it in this section but as of right now while i'm cleaning this i'm gonna put up the tape measure and 
get the tape and show you the ins and outs and as well show you this charger which you can set stationary has these little grips right here and has these two keys right here that charge the machine and it just slides in there and you'll see how that works later on in the video so to put it on here this is one foot and one inches so it's 13 inches this way um okay and it's height it is okay three inches tall so we covered this oh and we need to cover this way of it and it is 13 inches around and it's a circular so it's circumference but three inches um, so i'm not good with circles but i showed you basically it's not a really big for comparison weight scale on top of it it's actually is about the same as your average at home weight scale that's what it is with three inches in height and as you can see it's had some use so you have these contracting right here and you do have these two spinners and this other wheel which rotates 360 degrees right here other wheel right here for the support the opening and this filter which you can adjust if needed if you think it's too close clean or too dirty that you can replace as well as openings here here for batteries and components and manuals as you can see to remove on and off is a simple task you just remove it so to put it on and off as you can see it has this square button right there you just have to line it up and then once it's lined up firmly press and it's right there ready to work and ready for some action this is used as the wheels when it is you know not stationary moving around but when you put it on the charging dock it will activate so then you think where do i charge it these two metal pins right here is where it goes in for the charging um this is to pop open the top if need be so it kind of just goes in and how are you gonna know it's charging well as you can see right now the lights are blue and as soon as you hit it it's going to be telling you as well as the lights change from blinking blue to a slower um blue and it means it is full when it's blue if it was Yay! red or purple or pink or any color like that that means the battery is low and it can find it through this home feature and the piece of resistance right here as you can see the remote that you can use that has different modes this is a home mode that you can use the set to control it or you can put it in auto twin circle to go around in a loop or go from one room to the other if you don't want to use it yourself Start. and this is the auto mode as you can see and once you click auto it'll just do it itself the other way you can do it as well is by let me let me turn it off So you can turn it off and you have the recharging mode which is the home or you can do it manually so as you can see it's searching in the charging mode and it's slowly finding its way while doing some cleaning as well these are different spirals and if you feel like the robot is misguided and doesn't know where it is heading or going because of some reason this is what those controls were and that's kind of how you saw it stopped but I want to show you manually first. It's just, I was having a little too much fun with the remote and I wanted to show you the auto. So there you go. It found it and now it's charging. charging. In progress. So perfect with that little button, it finds the charger itself. And you can also do that on it, the remote itself right here, or you can just press this. Start cleaning. One press. And if you want to turn it off completely, you long press, you hold and you long press. And it's in auto mode right now, as you can see. So say, look, there's this box, right? You turn it, turn it. I'm gonna 360 it right here. Go right. Maybe, oh, it needs to go a little forward. It's stuck. And oh, you know, it needs to go backward. 
little it can only go a little bit backward as you can see and you can control it so say oh i don't need it here i need it in this place boom and now if you let it end go and doesn't do anything it should start by itself so now let's test out the different modes so you have this suction so it's going to be suction suctioning off boom start mixed point it's mixed point cleaning so it's just gonna start cleaning around in a circle first going cleaning around in a circle start edge, edge so this cleans all your edges it's gonna find the edges and clean every single edge like that as you can see that's basically what the remote control is good for and puts on these three modes right here now you do have the application version of it but i never did the application so we're just gonna let it do its thing and i'm gonna get it back for you so i put it on finding its home and as you can see with a couple of minutes and some effort it's gonna find it so it's gonna scan all the edges i'm gonna do that there you go make it so doesn't you could help it out um but i'm just gonna speed up the process so it doesn't understand there i'm gonna help it out and tell it to go find its home so you can see it's slowly gonna creep up to the charger and i want to show you how that looks like one more time so slowly starts creeping up on it right there and as you can see, it's going to mount itself. We're gonna take it a little back and perfect. Charging We're gonna get that progress. notification. So that was that feature. What does this wall feature do? Well, I'm gonna turn it on again and set up this strip to tell it you cannot go past this room right here. And I'll show you the demonstration in a bit. So as you can see the edge, um, does not work very well it's i just put it back on home so it can find itself but that is going to be the one downside which i perfectly think transitions as we've talked about basically all of the things on the robot that there's to talk about as far as use case how it does the different modes you saw all the different modes right here and it's as it's going to be finding its house we're going to segment into the pros and cons you can watch it beat itself against so the wall so after using it what are my thoughts on the syspro v40p side by side with the box really good some stuff doesn't work on it um surprisingly which i'm gonna contact the application it it works to set up but really if you don't want to mess around with the doohickeys and all of that and not touch anything all you need to do is press and it's gonna start cleaning regardless by itself now your question might be what about like um corners or something you can see the corners it's going to figure out it just might bump into it time and time and time so that's something you need to take into account that it's going to be doing um what about if there's sharp like drops um as long as you have some barrier and it has to be the smallest barrier i mean even this weight scale so this much is all it takes and it's not going to jump over <laughs> Now, with that being said, if you just have free open floors and there's a big drop, um, I'd be careful. <laughs> that might actually um, drop. But even if it drops from smaller, it's going to go on and keep pushing, keep pushing. So it's pretty durable in that sense of it. And it does clean very good. I'm very proud of it, happy of it. So I'm glad I have it because it has made my life easier with cleaning. And you do have the remote. And with some time, it always finds its way. It might go bouncing around and stuff, so if you want to help it, um, by all means, just use the remote controller, help it out a little bit, and it's going to find it. And you'll know it's on the right spot when it just starts slowly creeping. When it's faster, it's for searching, but when it's slow, it knows where it's going, and it's taking its <coughs> little so time who would be good for? Um, This would be good for anyone who's on a budget, who is strapped on cash and doesn't want to pay for the overly expensive Roombas, but you still want the features like the remote the app everything you want all the one package and you need your house clean for affordable and fast and you need a helper this is a great helper for the price that it's in which i paid at the time 92 dollars so what would i give this a i'd give this a six out of ten there's some stuff on it that just don't work 
um like you know the edge line thing that's supposed to be put on it doesn't work zigzag um sometimes it does redundant stuff but you do have control over it in multiple different faucets that is something it does have going for it you know you do have to clean the robot itself um you kind of have to all of them but um i guess you could put that in a negative if you're just looking for hands free completely 100 percent um no such thing exists though <laughs> But it is a technically a negative, so the I do team have behind to put it is very dedicated. They're very nice, friendly. They'll answer all your questions, and it's a good level entry robot just to get your room and stuff cleaned. Perfect. It works right on it, and it works on. As you can see, this is hardwood floor right here. The other one I have like vinyl, basically planks and stuff. It works on that too. So it works on a lot of different surfaces, cleans it, and you do get um, extra replacements. And it all comes in one easy to carry packaging, and the packaging looks very good i'll say like I, I actually like the packaging i like the robot i like the presentation i like the voice commands that it has you can voice command it as well through the application and once it figures it out it actually doesn't avoid the other area so you gotta it it learns on its own you just have to give it some time and some test trials and it's gonna learn and adapt every single day so i would give this a six to seven out of ten for that reason being as there are some errors in it that um if you absolutely it's gonna destroy it for you yep but it is good budget for 90 dollars on it so it is budget friendly and it's one of the cooler stuff out there so i would recommend this for most people who just need their room cleaned and have like a bigger room because it's gonna take in about um this room right here might take hour hour and a half if you have nothing to do or you're doing other stuff doesn't matter but if you're trying to outweigh weigh the consequence on um is the price worth it for the time um short answer is yes uh long or long answer rather is yes short answer if you just on short term. yes technically it'll be faster if you clean it yourself than using this robot hate to break it to you but in the long term if you're going to count it as a value it's definitely going to save you money in the sense of time so i would definitely recommend it for most people um if you want a more higher end this is definitely though not higher end so it is entry level budget if you just needed to clean it some extra features this is exactly what it is for i would not recommend if you're looking for like suction and all that stuff really well this is not 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 the one for you it's just to get the job done remote use it get get familiar and stuff like that and on a budget it's great for those people professional stuff like that who need it fast done quick have money to spend and stuff um i wouldn't recommend this that's why i'm giving it to six seven out of ten so this is all things reviews v40p and everyone hope you guys had a happy new year make sure to like comment subscribe if you guys use any of these robot vacuums let me know if there's anyone you'd like me to review next and have a good one till next week bye bye if you liked the content please like and subscribe to all things reviews and be sure to check out other videos to support the creator have a nice day and see you next week